and we are live. Hi guys, welcome to Lever X. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am kind of sad, uh, but it is what it is. We have reached the end of the line with the uh, Spotlight Artist of the Month. Uh, for a little bit at least, we're going to be moving our focus to something different next month. Um, we might be having Spotlight as, for next month as well. Uh, it's up to the other person who might sponsor it. That's still up in the air. But uh, if not, then this is the end of it. This is the last one. Um, and it's also the last one, obviously, for Mr. Peter Gabriel. Uh, we're going to be listening to four tracks today. Um, of course, one's from Secret World Live. You can't have a Peter Gabriel video without one of those, right? Um, so it's going to be... Da, 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 da. So Salisbury Hill Live in Athens. Steam Games Without... Games Without what? Games Without Frontiers. And then... Um, Secret World Live, it's Red Rain. It was a bonus on the Blu-ray, I guess. Um, and of course, this is all voted upon by our Discord members, and I just wanted to shout you guys out. Thank you so much for everything y'all do. Uh, for me, my family, and this channel, uh, y'all help out so much. And um, yeah, this has been one hell of a ride for all of them, because you voted on the Elton John ones, the Stevie Wonder ones, <laughs> and also this one. So I appreciate you guys. I do. And uh, if you want to hop in on the fun, join Patreon. You can join our Discord server. Um, next month, it might be, well, I don't know if it's going to be Spotlight per se, but it, it, the, the, the de facto Spotlight, if it's not Spotlight, it's going to be Earth, Wind, and Fire next month. So don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, here we go. First up, Salisbury, Salisbury, Salisbury Hill, live in Athens, 1987 by Peter Gabriel. Three, two, one. Go. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment too. I'd appreciate it. I think we have one more track too by them, um, courtesy of our other patron, Pat. And thank you, Barry. Thank you for all this. Oh, this is the Lay Your Hands on Me show, right? that old computer keeping silence outside my friends would think that chat and stick turning water into wine open doors would soon be shut so I went from day to day though my life was in a rut till I thought of what I'd say and I should cut I was feeling part of the scenery I walked right out of the machinery My heart going boom, boom, boom Son, he's saying Grab your things 
love that line, that cadence he does. They've used this in movies, right? I swear I've heard it before. But not this one, obviously. <laughs> it's running around. Oh, the 80s, man. Unlimited energy. <laughs> Look at Tony, bro. I love it. Still going strong. Keep going, man. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. That wireless mic, old school man, old school one. Well, it's not wireless, but you know. that was awesome. What a great rendition too, because I swear I've heard the uh, studio at that. I had no idea that was Peter Gabriel. Fradisto. Speaks Greek? Steam. Another music video. We've gotten lucky so far with the music videos with them not getting blocked, so let's keep that up. Has to be the 90s. So ahead of his time, man. They don't make them like they used to, man. They would not make this nowadays. Definitely looks older, so this is early 2000s, late 90s, I'm guessing, right? Can't you see I'm lost control? I'm getting the screen. It's so funny watching the old so world. Oh, not the CGI Can't Peter Gabriel tree. No! Get 
Oh, no, I shouldn't have eaten that gummy, bro. <laughs> Peter, stop. So much better than the rest. Okay. You think you'd be blessed, but I know you. <laughs> you know your letter from your snake. You know the trouble from the break. What the fuck? You know your straight line from the He looks the like um, the guy from Jurassic love, Park, Alan Grant. But I know you. Ah, uh, what's his name? He was in Event Horizon. Sam Neill. This is more than I can Sorry. take. Oh, yeah. I need steam. I didn't realize how much of <laughs> Thorn Dog Peter Gabriel was, bro. I should have realized with Sledgehammer. Insanity. <laughs> I love it. Don't shake the baby tree. Come on, no. Paula, what are you doing? Shaking the trees. Oh. Well, it showed some truth. That is every. We are everything. Everything is us. Games without frontiers. And I didn't do any like pre-game. I didn't spoil any of the songs, so I don't know like where, what time period they are or anything like that. Uh oh. This is Young Peter. BBC Adolf stuff. Builds a bonfire, Enrico plays with it. Whistle the tunes, we hide in the tunes by the seaside. Oh yeah, this is Genesis vocals, Peter. I can already hear it. Whistle the tunes, we're kissing baboons in the jungle. It's a knockout. I love this voice. I'm sad he stopped using it. Awesome. Without tears, games without frontiers, all without tears. This is wait, what year is this from, bro? Hold on. No way, this was on Peter Gabriel, 1980, bro. Wow. They all have hills to fly them on, except for Lin Tayu. Dressing up in costumes, playing silly games, hiding out in treetops, shouting out rude names. This sounds like modern music, just done way better. Modern indie music. Just way better. Whistling tunes, we piss on the goons in the jungle. It's a knockout. It looks 
Just like all of his videos were back then. Oh. This is like EDM music almost. In 1980. So what else did Peter Gabriel do? Did he cure cancer or something? Like, come on, bro. Like, that was my favorite song so far of the of the night. But what? It's not fair, bro. He did everything. He's like the Simpsons. Red Rain, our last song. Let's enjoy it, my friends. Thank you for a wonderful ride. Is that Manu? Drums did something bad to his mama. I hit him like that too. See, the 
why he just smashed that symbol? No crazy stage props needed for this one. Red down. Just red light and good music. Down. Thank you, Peter. They seem like a family. Oh, he's crying. I don't know if that song holds like personal significance to him over the other ones. So it came out on So. It's the first track. All right, so yeah, it's the first track on So. Background. Um. Okay, so no, it would, uh, all right, so it's nothing, um, yeah, all right. I was just wondering if there was any, like, special, like, I don't know, artistic significance to him, you know, about pers some kind of personal thing about it, um, but if you want, if you must know, um, what the, uh, <laughs> What the song was written about, it's a combination of several inspirations. The lyrics directly reference a reoccurring dream had while, while Gabriel was having where he was in his backyard pool drinking cold red wine. Another version of the dream had bottles in the shape of people falling from a cliff in it. Uh, a stream of red liquid would seep out of the people-shaped bottles as they smashed with impact onto the ground and was usually followed by a torrential downpour of the same red liquid. It's called blood, Peter. Um... Uh, earlier in his solo career, Gabriel had an idea for a movie. He referred to it as Mozo. In it, villagers were punished for their sins with a red blood red rain. Red rain was to be the theme song. This idea was eventually scrapped, uh, although there was a mention of Mozo in the song On the Air um, and a couple other songs as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it was a brooding opening to the album, which re reflected two very current 80s obsessions, um, AIDS and nuclear, nuclear Fallout. Sorry, I have to say things weird so I don't piss off the robots. Um, man, I, I wouldn't say that was my favorite song of his, um, of all the songs we've done. Honestly, it wouldn't be in my top five or ten probably, but man, just the way that song ended, it felt... I don't know. Very climactic in a way. And it, uh, the way that everyone was staring at him at the end, that kind of was like, uh, that was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? You know, because they usually don't do that. You know, I've watched a lot of the Secret World Tour. I must have watched almost every song now. I've, there's probably one or two I haven't done, but 
I remember when I started with uh, In Your Eyes, that was the first one I did. And then I did Shaking the Tree. And then I've done a couple more. Um, I think through this uh, Spotlight Artist of the Month, we've done a lot of them. You know, at least one a week, I feel like. Uh, so we've done a lot. And it's such a wonderful concert. And I really liked that one just for the fact that there wasn't like crazy stage props and stuff going on, which I love. I think those are cool. But that one felt very stripped back um, and very just uh, it felt very personal, you know, um, but obviously if he's writing about dreams, you know, that's almost as personal as you can get because our dreams are our, our only thing that only we see, you know, um, there's things that obviously that happen when you're alone that people don't see, but you never know these days. You never know. But our dreams are our last stronghold, you know, our last bastion of uh, solidarity in a way. Um, and I've always thought about that in my memory palace and all that, you know, all the stuff I've constructed in my head that I can uh, not metaphysically visit, but like metaphorically visit in my dreams if I wanted to, you know, sort of like the, you know, that endless hall of consciousness that we all have. We all share it, I think, and we all kind of just connect and tap into it when needed, you know, lots of cultural stuff passed down you know it's uh it's like in our dna you know they, they say that there's you know um actual storage you know in our dna and our junk dna the stuff that they don't know why we have it that is we, we just don't know but there's probably a lot of reasons a lot of um and it takes up a huge amount of dna is the junk dna so what if that is the cultural or the, the um heritage ancestral passed down stuff is all that junk dna probably all the memories the fears i feel like fears and memories of you know uh high emotion high uh volatility sort of events are the ones that are passed down because i had a lot i had a nuclear um well not a nuclear it was like an air raid like from the world war ii i had one of those dreams when i was a kid and I was with my family. I was my and I, my sister, my mom, and we heard the sirens and we had to run. My dad, I think, I guess was serving. Obviously, it was just us three. So we had to run to the shelter. And that's all I remember. And I was like five years old when I had that dream. Never had it, never watched a single war movie in my life, you know, but I remember that dream very, very um, vividly. Um, but I don't know, man. Uh, Peter Gabriel just makes you dream big, man, because um, he just swings for the fences every time. And even if he's not exactly swinging for the fences he does it unintentionally uh it's it's kind of a sight to behold man um every single video we did was pushing the boundaries of its time um he was literally punching holes in the top of the box and he's like uh-uh and he's got right out he's like creating whole genres creating whole genres of music videos and such you know what i'm saying like he literally was an innovator in so many different facets it's honestly fascinating um to watch his rise from uh, Genesis, which, oh my God, what was Genesis' first album? It's obviously not Selling England. What was the first album? Not Nursery Crime. Oh, Lee, you son of a bitch. What was Genesis' first album? Hold on, let's ask Siri. I've been doing this lately. What was Genesis' Genesis' first album? Genesis's. Oh, come on. All right, the, all right, so it sent me to the discography. I'm disappointed in you, Siri. You should have read it out to me. <laughs> um, all right, so albums. From Genesis to Revelation, released March 28th, 1969. Oh, my goodness. But is he on, he's on this one, right? Let's see. Personnel. Yep, lead vocals and flute. Tony Banks, Anthony Phillips, Mike Rutherford, and John Silver. That was the first album. He started in 69. And who knows what they did before that. That's when their first album came out, you know? So this man not only was making albums in the 60s that were great. He's making stuff in the 2020s that's great. That's 60 years. That's insane. You know what I mean? And he still to this day is an innovator of his... We just watched the Panopticon, Pan Panopticon video last week or the week before. That was completely like AI, you know, futuristic sort of technology stuff he used for that video. And that was probably either painstakingly made or it was just AI generated, you know, but that could, you know, I think that video was probably made two years ago. That was kind of before the generative, you know, well, to the public, at least, you know, kind of AI stuff they have now. But man, it's just like he's always pushing the boundaries. He's always trying to find some new avenue. You know, I think the incorporation of the world music after coming out of 
um, selling, not say, uh, after coming out of Lamb, him departing Lamb, or ap- after Lamb, um, then that's Peter Gabriel, the first solo album in 1980, right? That's the first one after that, I believe, right? And then I think when he incorporated that world music, um, and you pair that with his po- uh, prog background, and then he wanted to do pop music. So, like, you had three different strands going on there of, th- of just unique styles and genres, and he blends them all seamlessly into the, his own special blend, you know, the PG special, <laughs> we'll call it, you know? And um, every song, every single one we've done, even if I didn't like it as much as other ones, I still enjoyed something about it. You know, the video was either great or I really liked the chorus, you know what I'm saying? But every single song, it's it's crazy. And he, every single one that had a video was just pushing everything, man. And I think that's amazing how long he did it. Um, so for this one, I would definitely have to go with um, Games Without Frontiers from Peter Gabriel, uh, which absolutely fantastic song. I did not see that one coming uh all right we're not talking about genesis get out of here get out of here you little shit all right um that's red rain no uh peter gabriel okay all right so yeah it was released may 30th 1980 on charisma records uh it's been acclaimed as gabriel's artistic breakthrough as a solo artist uh one of rock's most ambitious and innovative musicians yeah no shit all right so there was a peter gabriel in 1978 Oh, oh, wow. So I'm way off. Holy crap. And then there's a Peter Gabriel in 1977. Oh, so that was, but it's all the same name. All right. So in my defense, it's all the same name. So I technically, technically I was right. I was just off by two Peter, Peter Gabriels. Um, so yeah, Salisbury Hill was the lead single of that album. His very first one, that was his debut one in 1977. Um, uh, so we did the live in Athens one that was 87. So that was 10 years later. So I doubt it's the same lineup. So I'm not going to go through that. Um, so on that then on Peter, no, no, not PG two, PG three. There we go. All right. So PG three, uh, games without frontiers was the lead single. And I'm guessing the first track, right? Nope. I was wrong again. First track on side two, um, personnel, Peter Gabriel, on everything basically um oh vocals piano synthesizer uh drum pattern on bico backing vocals and he did the whistle on games without frontiers larry fast on nothing um david rhodes on guitar um robert fripp not on that (laughs) um Man, this, there's a lot of people on this album. Jesus Christ. Um, someone did Screeches on Biko. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> I, that was definitely my favorite track. Uh, it was very moody. Um, so was Salisbury Hill, though. That's kind of hard. That performance is really great. That's probably my second favorite thing out of this whole video. Um, that was a great performance. But, but yeah, Ga- Games Without Frontiers was just so out there, it felt like, for him. But still so Peter Gabriel. Um, I, I think, uh, the video was fantastic as well. Uh, he's always doing something, you know, like that one, the song in the video was pretty awesome. Um, steam, um, was fun. I enjoyed the video more than the song. That's the one I was talking about. Like I definitely enjoyed the video a lot. Maybe if I listened to it without the video, I would appreciate the song itself more, but I, for the most part, I enjoyed it. You know, it wasn't my favorite. It didn't scream out at me though. You know, like, Hey, love me. I definitely liked it though. That was fun. Um, yeah. So out of these two, ugh, that's hard. I yeah, I'd go games without frontiers. But Salisbury Hill live in Athens was awesome as well. Um, and then the Red Rain one was cool, just for the simplicity stripped back compared to the rest of that tour. You know, all that stuff. And uh, that's it, guys. That's a wrap on Peter Gabriel. Which is a shame. But I think we have one more song that our patron Pat requested. But I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head. Pat, if you could say it in the chat if you're watching, that'd be very uh, much appreciated because I cannot remember what it is. Uh, man, I'm sad to see him go. <laughs> I know we could literally do him at any other time after this too, obviously. that I, I'm just being hyperbolic. But um, I kind of am sad because I do like doing these like four-track video things. I look forward to it every week. And I've already been talking long enough. Uh, so I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all know that 
I appreciate y'all more than anything. You know, I'm definitely going through a lot right now with so many things. And um, no matter what, you guys have always had my back. And uh, I'll never forget that. Never, ever, ever. I will never forget any of y'all and what y'all have done for me. Um, that's one thing I don't do is when someone's nice to me, I never forget that. And I've always tried to be nice to them after that. It's best to the best of my ability, you know, <laughs> sometimes it pushes, the, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, you guys are the best community on the Internet, though, and I'm very, very grateful. And uh, I don't deserve you all in the slightest, but. Here you are, so thanks for being here. That is it. Thanks for watching, guys, and thank you to our patron, Alpha Patron Barry, of course, for this wonderful ride through this, and thank you to our Discord members for voting on all the songs from this all the way back to Elton John, Stevie Wonder, all those. I appreciate y'all. Next month, we are doing something special, and if you're watching this far into the video, I think a lot of people probably, probably have already clicked off, so they're going to miss out on the surprise. We're going to be doing a documentary next month. Uh, courtesy of Barry. Instead of the spotlight artists from him, we're going to be doing something different. Um, we're going to be watching the Wrecking Crew documentary that's on YouTube. Um, I don't know how we're going to do it exactly, but all that figured out probably by, I guess, whatever the next week is, you know. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to do it on. I might do it on Thursday still since I need, I don't have anything special on Thursday. I usually kind of save that for, you know, something, whatever the special of the week is sort of thing. So be on the lookout for that, I guess. Thanks, Barry. And thanks for watching. Patreon, right there. Ooh, that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Join any of the tiers, get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There's a lot of them on there. We'd love to have you, so come hang out um, on the Discord. Uh, yeah, and there's a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or a request in that way. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for joining me on all this Peter Gabriel fun. Um, he's one hell of an artist, and... Genesis is still one of my favorite things I found on this channel. They're easily in the top three and Peter Gabriel plays a huge part in that. So he obviously by uh, de facto is one of my favorite things I found on here. And this dive into his solo stuff has done nothing but um, affirm the fact that I really, really appreciate that man. And uh, yeah, what a genius in every way possible. Thanks for watching.